everybody! Uh, I'm choosing to record a video today because why not? Um, so I'm posting my five in early influences. I decided to go in chronological order and show you guys what I was influenced by when I was a little kid and then, you know, most recently. So the first person that influenced me was definitely family, family members. Uh, my mom used to paint and so did my grandmother, and so did my great-grandmother. Um, a lot of women in my family painted, uh, and they were pretty good. And I, my mom was in art college at the time, so I saw her studio a lot. And that was a big influence on me. It kind of encouraged me to be artistic. Um, and I posted a link to her website. She's a photographer now. She has been for a long time. Uh, she hasn't painted, so you guys won't be able to see her paintings, just her photos. But even her photography taught me a lot about composition, color harmony, stuff like that. And she was always there to help me and buy supplies for me when I was younger. So um, that support really influenced me. The next person I posted is Brian Fraud. Um, he's the guy who did... Um, the Dark Crystal, and he has a lot of books about fairies, but the one that I had as a kid was called Good Fairies, Bad Fairies, and the front was right side up, and then you turn it around, and the other side was, um, upside down, and I posted a couple pictures of his work, uh, he was a huge influence on me, I loved fairies, a lot of the drawings I did when I was younger, um, probably around 10 to 12 had fairies in them absolutely loved fairies. A lot of the books I read, read had fairies in them and that's really what got me into fantasy uh, because from fairies I liked elves and dragons and all that good stuff and from liking dragons when I was probably 13 or 14 I started getting really into Dragon Ball Z. Um, it was first one of the first animes I saw like a lot of people and something about the graphic style of Dragon Ball Z really called out to me. Uh, I got sucked into the drama of the show, so I used to replicate a lot of the artwork um, that you can find online. I posted the official Dragon Ball Z website and a couple pieces of art. I would do a lot of pen and ink stuff because it's so graphic you can really block in, you know, the shadow to their hair and their faces with just black. So I did a lot of really graphic stuff and that was an interesting style for me to try. Uh, and it also introduced me to drawing muscle, to drawing guys, because I was always drawing girl fairies. So, I just, uh, I really enjoyed Dragon Ball Z, and that was a long phase of lots of Dragon Ball Z characters. And from there, that obviously propelled me into anime, and so I started watching, um, a lot of clamp anime. They're the ones who did Card Captor Sakura, they do Clover, they do, um... What's one of their more famous ones? I think Cardcaptor Sakura would be pretty well known. They do a lot of different um, manga, you know, X1999 and stuff like that. Um, but I really liked Sakura, I really liked Clover, I really liked that kind of stuff. And I still read their manga sometimes, so. Uh, but that was definitely, it's like a combination. It was anime, but it was also very, like, girly and fairy-oriented. Um, so, I got really into that, and that's when all of my characters looked like anime characters. All of my drawings were anime characters, the eyes were anime eyes, the hairstyles were anime. Um, so that stuck for a really long time. I, went, I got a little wacky with color, and I still am. I still have to tone down my color. Uh, so that was influence then. That kind of been led into comic books, but more character. I started really enjoying more expressive character because anime characters only have like two or three expressions. I posted Lackadaisy Cat Cats, which is a comic I love. Uh, she's great with expression. And that became really important to me. Um, having characters that were expressive and animated and having pieces of artwork that really jumped out at you and made you feel excited. Um, and of course that led into American Comics, which I was actually reading for a long time. I read American Comics ever since I was about 11 or 12 years old. My dad was a huge comic fan, and so I had comics. I just was more into anime for a while. But I got back into comics really heavily, started drawing, you know, the beefed up guys and the 
super curvy, beefed up women, and that was something I got really into, and I was very sure I wanted to be a comic book artist when I entered the academy. Now it's more of a mesh. I think the last um, image I submitted is from an artist named Loish. First name is Lois. You can find her on DeviantArt. You can also just go to Loish.net. She's, you know, that influence is more of a combination. She's very illustrative. Her characters do have kind of a slightly cartoonish look, but there's, you know, a unique spin on it. It's not a comic book character. It's not an anime character. It's not a cartoon. It's just her character, and that's what I wanted to achieve. So those are my influences, and I look forward to seeing the rest of your guys' influences.